Hello and welcome to 2013 YouTube Whiplash, where I'm bringing back Draw My Life, but with a twist. This is only going to be for the last seven days of my experience, and I'm going to maybe do it weekly, maybe, kind of like a diary. Now, you may think, why on earth would you do that? And you see, my reasoning is very good. The internet is forever, to the point where they tell you to be careful of what you put out there because it will come back and haunt you, and maybe in 50 years my grandchildren will wonder what on earth I did with my life, and I realize that I have a crap memory and want to keep a journal, and writing it all down on paper is just too much effort. Uh, but if you're into it, that's great, but if you're not, you can either leave a suggestion or just watch some quality content like Amazing Phil elsewhere. So, to kick things off real good, my parents totally abandoned me and my siblings for the week starting last Sunday, and I was left to make sure nobody burned the house down. But then I remembered that my younger siblings are all teenagers and are used to driving to the bus stop at 7 in the morning while I sleep in. On both Monday and Tuesday, I infiltrated the elementary school to help the small children learn how to read, and while I normally do that with my best friend Cambry, she also decided to up and ditch me so she could visit her brother and sister-in-law, who also happens to be my older sister, so unfortunately for her, she missed the wonderful opportunity of listening to a kid yell death threats at another kid while all the girls demanded to be called things like Princess Peach, Princess Lime, Princess Orange, and King of All Fruit. After dealing with all that drama, I tenderized my thumbs at a quilting club I go to every week, watched YouTube for 16 hours, helped out with preparing meals for the local seniors, and finally took an 8-hour nap. On Thursday, I drove for about 5 hours so I could get some good old pizza pie cafe and drool over their cinnamon stick pizza things. Everyone else was raving about the Oreo pizza, but we all know which one is truly superior. Friday was when my parents decided that I was probably unfit to be a guardian and finally came home. Oh, and we also celebrated my younger sister's transition into a legal adult. When the lights turned off and everyone was asleep, she and I snuck into the movie room and watched an epic slime tutorial featuring Elle Woods, Harvard, and an intense lady with the ability to jump rope and sing at the same time. Saturday, my brother had a Halloween party, so I dressed up like the edgy soul of a teenage Batman and made four pizzas, only one of which got eaten. After all the little 13-year-olds went home, I got a more iconic costume, Ghostface, and gave nightmares to the local children at the park. I got a ton of candy, too. Trick-or-treating at 20 years old isn't illegal, believe it or not. And finally, Sunday. I woke up having a weird, disturbing dream that my dad was slowly poisoning to me to death because I was the heir to an amusement park and he wanted to own it. Then I went to church and cried for two hours, as, and as if that wasn't scary enough, I woke up and the most terrifying thing happened. I was just chilling when I saw an ad for a giveaway and I decided to enter it, and when the confirmation email notification popped up, I clicked on it, only to be greeted with a collection of photos taken from my laptop's camera. My soul left my body for a second because I thought I got doxxed and I would be murdered within the next 30 seconds, but then I saw that it was actually just an email from OneDrive reminding me that I bought an acting course and recorded myself quote-unquote acting back in 2021. And yeah, on that note, that sums up October 16th to the 22nd. If you watch to the end, you're awesome, and if you didn't, that's totally understandable. I'm telepathically giving you a consensual hug and wishing you a great day. See you next week!